talk about mail. M A I L. Junk mail and misdirected mail. Been getting in a lot lately. Both, that is. Alright, first, misdirected mail. I've been getting a lot of it, and it's mail that I get that's not my mail. Which probably means that my other mail is getting picked up by somebody else. Which is not a good thing, considering the junk mail would have, like, credit card applications, various financial documents, uh, just stuff, you know, that could steal your identity and mess up your credit rating. How do you get off the junk mail list? Generally, the most effective way is to call the people that are sending you it. Usually, they'll have an opt-out, fine print to the bottom. You call that number get off their junk mail list but it might only last for a few years you have to call again very annoying I hate getting junk mail hey some people like it because they don't get a lot of you know regular mail especially nowadays with uh, email and stuff So, junk mail. I get a lot of airline junk mail, like rewards programs. I signed up though, so I guess that's why I'm getting the junk mail. I also get the stupid credit card stuff. So I don't like it when I don't get my own, ma my own mail. I worry about identity theft. So we're on our way home. Just went for a jog at the park. A lot of police sitting in the uh, parking lane. I've already seen two of them along this street. I think it's actually this this might be the last day of June or, or tomorrow. So they must have a quota they need to get. Ugh. I got my rear light on. It's getting sort of dark though and I don't have a front light. So I'm trying to get home here safely. As safe can be. Going uh, 22.6 miles per hour right now. Slight uphill. I've actually only cycled about eight miles today. A little over eight miles. But I did jog uh, a few miles, so 
figure one mile of jogging is equal to three miles of cycling. I'm probably at about 18 miles so far today then. Good exercise! Woo. Yeah, it's sort of cloudy. I didn't I really didn't expect it to be this dark already. It is uh what time is it? Uh, it's eight it's eight ten PM so sunset is in 20 minutes and sunset means the sun will have gone just below the horizon and we got about 30 minutes of twilight at which point uh, there will be absolutely no light fortunately I am about 20 minutes away from home maybe less I gotta get there though look out for this guy cut through this way avoid the light even though there was a guy waiting I mean I might have been able to make it we'll make a right here one way uh. up the hill A little bit of traffic. Wait for these guys. There we go. We'll make a right at the signal. On our way home. I'm in Clayton, Missouri right now. Nice brick homes. Going uh, 22 miles per hour. Gotta stop again. Ugh. So yeah, junk mail. Do you get junk mail? Do you get junk mail every day? Let's make a right. Have you gotten someone else's mail in your mailbox? Sad thing about that is, uh, I think we want to go left. Is that, uh, that means someone else got your mail. And that's something to be a little upset about. And like I said, it's been happening to me a lot. So, what you can do is call into the, now I'm talking about the U.S. Post Office. What you can do is call into the post office and complain, tell them the day it happened. You know, once or twice is, you know, okay, but routinely getting the wrong mail is a big problem. You know, they sort of, they, you know, they sort it once at the post office. Let's make a left. And then they sort it, you know, for the van or the truck. And, uh, you know, 
it might just be your neighbor who got in your mail or it could be multiple streets over unlikely would it be in the wrong zip code but you know these are things that are just annoying so I thought I'd rant a little bit about it because it is sort of serious guys you know identity theft the best way to uh, limit the amount of identity theft you get is to try to remain out of as many databases as you can don't get a driver's license i'm just joking 